Okay. Okay, go ahead and straighten them out. Okay, so I don't think you have the wrong idea on the walk pirouette, but I need to know that you have a little more quality of carriage and engagement in the walk before you do it. Okay, so the mechanics of the walk pirouette were not bad. Um, he got a little sticky behind, but mostly what he did is he disconnected. He got longer in his body instead of more engaged in his body. Um, and he got a little longer in his strides instead of more compact and more together. So think about walking and just stay down here for a moment, but think about a little more shoulder four here in the walk. And again, you just rode through two corners with absolutely no bend. Okay, so this is gonna be this is gonna be your theme for the for the month, I think, is that you have to learn that you're responsible to make that happen all the time. Now the other thing is that you in in your third level test, you ride the turn on the haunches or the half pirouette from a medium walk with three or four strides of more collected walk before it. At fourth level in Pre St. George, you ride it from collected walk. So first, before we can really get into this, we need to define a walk, okay? Collected walk means that he tracks up but doesn't necessarily over track, that he closes his frame a little bit and he gets a little more active behind. So right now he's still in medium walk, okay? That's better. He has to step up from behind a little bit more. And then if he gets a little bit unclear in the rhythm, which horses do, and it's very common, then you ride towards a little bit more shoulder four, and you make sure that you're not shortening or holding back in your hand to shorten the stride, that you're shortening your reins and riding little half halts and releases, so you're still retaining more relaxation and self-carriage here in the walk, and you're in a corner now, so you should be bending left. You don't go on a circle or a corner without presenting bend to your horse unless you're intentionally trying to ride without bend, which we do sometimes. That's better. That's better. Now from that walk, prepare a walk pirouette, thinking of a little shoulder four, and don't hold him in front. Be responsive to him in the bridle. That's right. And now a half hold and enter your turn. That's enough, not, not more than that. Yeah. Yeah, you went into a, a leg yield. You didn't stay in shoulder four. Turn left again. Now the other thing he did significantly there at the end of the turn is he dove down and curled his neck up. So you've got to be riding towards a correct connection all the time. Go straight again, though. Every turn has to initiate with a good walk on a good line, or it's not any good, okay? So don't just ride into it sort of arbitrarily. That's right, and half halt and right leg. Good, now balance his body up. He's going down too much. That's right. Now the other thing I want you to ask yourself is how much weight did he put in the rain when you asked him for the turn? Okay, I want you to think about that. So now ride right shoulder four in the walk. We'll do a turn to the right. I want you to feel that your horse stays in the same connection in the turn as he does in the normal walk. And if he tries to make the contact stronger or dive down or change in it, you have to do something about that. Even if you're thinking about the turn, it doesn't mean that the turn is the only thing that's important anymore. He still has his level of self-carriage to think about. Good, turn right. And there's a balance between you being restrictive with your hand, responsive with your hand, and telling him what to do. Good, and start a right turn. Good. Now activate him a little bit. That was better, Susie. Good. Now feel him. As you walk out, what does he do? Yeah. So you're not done with your turn just because you finished the turn. You're done with the turn when you give him a loose rein and walk on a long rein, okay? Because right now you have to think about in and out of the turn and the self-carriage and the balance between those two things all the time. So when you're ready, go ahead and do another one to the left. Yeah, don't ever do them in the corner and always do them from a line. I don't care if it's on the wall or off the wall. You, have, you pick a line and you start and finish on that line. Good. Good. That was good. Very good. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, leave that for now and pick up the right lead canner when you're ready.